Ain't no pill, but your boys know it's been a drill. All these hoes want the same thing like a synonym, damn. And it's chain, rings, queen, Celine, Shereen, she want it. So y'all, let me tell y'all about a story. Let me tell y'all about this story. This type of story you only you will only hear on TV. I hear stuff like this on TV. And it happened to me, y'all. He was stuck. Yes, old dude was stalking me. He was stalking me. But we better go ahead and get into it. Is y'all ready? Is y'all ready? All right, let's go. So first of all, me and old dude, we went to the same school and we stayed in the same complex. We stayed in the same school, we stayed in the same complex. I have never talked to him. I seen him before, but I wasn't really paying too much mind to him because I'm like, okay, we go to the same school, we stay in the same complex. So I'm not about to talk to him. He's not about to talk to me. That's what I thought it was gonna be. So every day my mama used to take me to school. I would never catch the bus because my mama would always take me to school. So there was no need for me to catch the bus. So I would always get dropped off in front of the school. I had to catch the school bus. I had to catch the school bus because my mama could no longer take me to school. So oh dude, he has never seen me before, which I thought he never seen me before. I, th I, ain't, I ain't know he knew me. I ain't know he knew all about me. I just thought he was like a regular person that stayed in my complex, went to the same school. He seen me when I seen him, but I ain't think he knew me, but he knew me y'all. This nigga right, he knew me, but I didn't think he knew me. So my first week riding the bus, I wake up in the morning feeling all good. I go outside. I see old dude. Old dude, the, the stalker. I see him. We don't speak to each other at all. Okay, there was no need for us to speak to each other because we don't even know each other. So Monday go by, boom. Tuesday go by, boom. Wednesday go by, Thursday go by, da, da, da. So he don't speak to me. He mind his own little business. I said, okay. He ain't got to speak to me. I don't care. I don't care. He ain't got to speak to me. I don't care. So we don't speak to each other for that whole first week of me riding that bus. Here come the second week of me riding the bus, y'all. Listen, pay attention. This is the second week of me getting on this bus. I always end up going outside first to catch the bus. Here he comes scrolling up behind me. I said, oh, I love that. Like, okay, because he kind of scared me a little bit. He scared me. I'm always the first person, so I'm always thinking around. But I was on my phone at that time, and he just popped on up. And I'm like, okay. I said, okay. I ain't even gonna let him okay. He comes up behind me, and all I hear is, hey, 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 hey. I said, what the, what? He like, hey, 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 And I'm like, what is, I'm just looking, because at this point, I'm confused, and I'm kind of scared, so I'm like, what the is wrong with him? So after I look around, looking at him, he start laughing, like, ha, 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 I'm just playing, I'm just playing. You just playing. Don't play like that. And I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know. That first week, y'all, he ain't said nothing to me. He ain't open his mouth. He ain't said, how you doing? What's up? The second week, he's talking about something. I'm like, what the f Like, what is wrong with you? He's talking about, oh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play, girl. I'm gonna play. So he finally say something other than whatever he was just doing. So he was like, what's your name? What's your name? I said, Sylvia. My name is Sylvia. <laughs> he gonna say, oh, that's a fine name. That's a fine name. That's a fine name. I said, what? Excuse me? He's like, your name, your name is really cute. Your name is good. Yo, I was like, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess on the bus. I do this routine every single day. I get on the bus, sit in my seat, put my headphones in, bada bang, bada boom. Don't say nothing to nobody. I go to my seat. I sit down. I don't know why he thought it was okay for him to come around, get up out his seat, and come to my seat and sit down. I, was, I had to stop myself real quick. I was like, I ain't say nothing. I was just looking at him. I was like, maybe he's just trying to be my friend. Like, cause he did just try to ask me what my name is stuff outside and all that stuff. I was like, so maybe he's just really trying to be my friend. So he comes sits beside me. He don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I won't go say, and I won't go say nothing. Like there's no, there's no reason for me to say anything. Cause he came up and sat beside me. I didn't go and go in his seat and sit beside him. No, he got up and sat in my seat. And I was confused. But I won't even like I I won't even finna say nothing because I had my headphones in. I was going like I ain't even see it. I was in the I was in the corner. Of the, I was like on my phone, pretending like he ain't even sit beside me. But I noticed it, of course, and I think that's what he wanted me to do. Notice him sit beside me. But I was just like, okay. So I I'm still on my phone, had my headphones in. I ain't saying nothing to nobody. So we roll into school. I still got my headphones in, chilling, minding my business. He's still sitting beside me. Like, he's not saying nothing. He ain't say, hey, can I sit beside you? What's up? What's good? He just sat right beside me and said nothing. So I still got my headphones in, vibing now, minding my business. We pull up to the school. We finally get to the school. Everybody else going out, going off the bus, walking up, getting up. He's still sitting in my seat. That right there should have been a strike. That, should, that right there should have been a strike one. I said, oh, hell. I said, oh, hell no. So I'm... I turned to him and I said, you gonna get up? He ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying 
saying nothing. He's not saying nothing at all. So I'm like, so you're you're not gonna get up. You're you're just gonna sit right here. But I gotta go. He's not saying nothing. So I stepped. I stepped right over him. I don't know if I stepped on him or nothing, but he was in my way. And I felt like he was trying to like be funny or something. I don't know. At that point, I really didn't know because I didn't even know the dude. That was my first day actually talking to the dude. So I stepped over him. He's like, oh. like he's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. So he's like, Ugh. I ain't even said nothing to him. I was like, I'm gonna just let him be him. And I stepped over. I don't know if I kicked him or something because they made him say that. But I just got up and I walked right on off the bus. I said, I ain't got time for you. I am in my mind, I ain't got time for you. What is going on in his head? He, Y'all, he did not get up for nothing. I had to step. You know what's real when you gotta step over somebody. I had to step over him. I'm walking to my class. I'm going to my class. I speak to my friends. Hey, girl, how you doing? I don't know. You look cute. You look cute. Girl, look. So I'm just talking to my friends. My friends talking to me. We all having a little chill, a little good time to the bell ring. So the bell done rung. And I'm walking to my class. I get to my class. I'm inside my class. And I sit down. Mind my business. I'm like, I gotta use the bathroom. But you know you gotta wait for 20 minutes before you use that. So I waited 20 minutes to get to the bathroom. Where's my hand? I said, Miss Miss, can I go to the bathroom? She said, yeah, you can go to the bathroom take the pad. So I get up. I take the pass with me. I'm walking. I'm walking towards the door. About to go out the door to go to the bathroom. Y'all. Guess who was out there? Yes. Yes. Him. Old dude. Stalker. He was right on outside. He kind of scared me a little bit. Because when I went out there, he didn't move. He didn't say nothing. Y'all, he don't say much. He doesn't say much. And that's what's really making me really scared. Because he doesn't say nothing. He just does the stuff. And expect me to be like, oh, okay, it's fine. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. So I'm, I'm going outside the classroom. He's just standing there. I don't even, I look, but I don't look. Because I don't, I don't want to give him the okay to come over here and speak to me. So I look, but I don't look. It's like a glance. I glanced at him. So I keep walking. He just stare. He like. At that point. At that point. At that point. I ain't even go back to class. I went straight to the library and I sat up in there. Y'all don't know what people got on their mind. I don't know if he was trying to. I don't know. You don't know. This world is turning crazy. You don't know. You just don't let. You just don't let stuff happen to you. So I sat in the library and I was really thinking like, what is wrong with this dude? Like, is you serious right now? Like, what is really wrong with him? Something is wrong with him. Like, somebody need to get that fixed. Get that fixed. Boom. Boom came up. was like, he was just staring like. I just said, oh, no. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. So, now, at this point, he's stalking me in school. He is stalking me in school. He's stalking me in my classes. He's stalking me at my lunch. He's stalking me at my chill spot. So, at that point, I'm like, okay. He's stalking me in school. Like, don't have all that stuff. Don't have all that crazy mess going on in my school. So, at that point, I'm like, okay. Whatever. This is where it started to get a little freaked out freaky crazy because this nigga was y'all pay attention he knew where i stayed remind y'all in the beginning of the story i said he stayed in the same complex this is where this now this this is where i need to get up one day he goes to my house knocks on my door i open the door he's talking about some damn on can you go to the park with me they go to the park we had this little creepy park across the street i'm not about to go to no damn park with you are you crazy? Are you crazy? Nah, I feel like you're crazy because you really think I'm about to go to the park with you. I ain't going to no park with you. He, he, he came to my house. He came to my house and asked, can I go to the park? Can we go to the park? Are you crazy? Not are you crazy. He is crazy. At that time, he's crazy. He asked, can I go to the park? I just slammed the door right in his face. I said, oh, no. Nah. See, look, not trying to be mean or nothing. I'm not trying to be mean, but at that point, he deserved that. He, and he knows he deserved that. You know, stop me in school. Stop me on the bus. Wouldn't let me off the bus. Like, you you deserve that a little bit. He deserved that a little bit. So I just said, on his face. I said, oh, no. Nah. No, nah, I ain't going to no damn park with you. Don't come to my house. Don't come to my house. Uh-uh. I ain't doing that. I ain't playing that, y'all. He came to my house and asked, can we go to the park? You got to go. So this is the part that got me. So in the morning, I'm going to go to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. I have to go outside and crank the car for her every morning. Because, you know, it'll be cold outside. So I go outside and I crank the car. When I got up to go outside, I got the keys. A process. It's like a little routine I do. I get the keys. I run out, crank the car, run back up. Yeah, I go running down the steps to go crank my mama car up, right? He is standing. 5 o'clock in the morning. He is standing behind another car staring dead at me. And I thought I was going crazy. I thought I was going crazy. So I look. But I kind of hurry up a little bit because if you look too much, you know, the monsters and stuff start to come after you. You can't look too much. You got to glance at like you ain't see the person. So I look back. He was right 
there staring at me. I said, oh no. Nah. So I run back upstairs. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. You ain't getting me tonight, playboy. You ain't getting me, boom. You ain't getting me tonight. So I go back upstairs and I'm thinking in my mind, my mama getting ready for it. She ain't. So I look outside. He go. He gone. He is gone. So I'm like, did I really see him? Yeah, I seen him. I ain't going crazy. Uh-uh. My mind ain't crazy like his. I know I seen him. So my mama, she like, I'm not a good word. She goes to work. I'm scared at this point. So I get back in my bed, about to go back to sleep. I hear a knock on the door. I hear a little knock on the door. I said, okay. That's my mama because she just forgot something. Because she just left. Like, she just left not even five minutes ago. She just left. I don't know. I hurry up and go, open the door. Guess who was at that door? Guess who was at the door? It was old dude at the door again. That's why I went crazy. I opened the door. I said, oh! I tried to hurry up and close the door back. He put his foot in, the, in my door. In my doorstep. I was about to get the rock out that motherfucker. I was about to get the bop bop. I don't care if you do it or not. At that point, I was about to wail. Like, don't do that. He gonna say, can I come in? Can I come in? And you, Y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm about to call the motherfucking police. I'm about to call the I'm waking everybody up in my neighborhood. Everybody, the lights, everybody. I'm about to call the motherfucking and I started like banging like I was just making so much like somebody was gonna hear me somebody was gonna hear me he like so he goes off and runs off into the woods like some animal or something I'm like oh hell no nah. oh yeah so then everybody went to go look for him at that point I was like nah okay look this getting out of hand this is getting crazy after all of that happened comes to find out he didn't even stay there y'all he didn't even stay in my same account. like he stayed there but he didn't he was living there with his grandma first of all he was staying there with his grandma his mama was up somewhere and I think in like Georgia or something like that. After all that happened, they shipped his little ass back up to the Georgia with his mama. Cause after that, I won't play. Somebody was gonna hear me. They shipped him right on back up to Georgia, as they should, as they had should. Don't be doing that crazy mess around me. I was so glad. I was so glad when he left. I was so glad when he left, cause that mess was scary. Five o'clock in the morning, he come knocking on my door asking me to come in. I went. To, I went crazy. I was just like, I was banging, making a like. I had to wait the whole neighborhood, but y'all was gonna hear me. Y'all know my loud. Y'all know my voice loud, and I get loud. It's already loud with me not even trying to be loud. At least something was really wrong with him though. Like something was crazy, but I don't know. But still, you ain't finna stop me trying to come in my house. Turn my video up, y'all yeah, like it. I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and you know I love you. Bye, hoes. I'm risking the fight and I work. Swerving, scourging.